sorry. Bear with me. There you go. Thank you, Kyla. Nice. I do. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, obviously, there's a, a whole range of uh, restrictions in place um, for all of us um, as we navigate through COVID. Um, but the New South Wales government has announced the likelihood of restrictions easing across New South Wales, um, particularly for those who are double vaccinated. Um, I am aware that... Um, both New South Wales and Victoria released their roadmaps to um, to freedom, if you like, uh, yesterday. Um, so certainly that information is available and out there. Um, Destination Riverina Murray recently reported that it's likely we'll see an influx of visitors uh, flowing into regional New South Wales as a result of this. Um, and we do expect that we will move fairly quickly from a zero occupancy to a 100% occupancy fairly quickly. Um, if our recent intel is anything to go by, um, certainly uh, the Victorian side of our border communities are very busy at the moment. Um, so it's just about, you know, the freedom to get across the river um, and uh, we'll see the benefits of some of that as well. So really for me, it's about making sure that as an industry, we're ready for that influx of visitation. Um, so there's a few things I just wanted to highlight for people. Um, first off, just considering that your staffing levels are ready to go. So you might not need the staff this week, but you might need them next week. Um, so we just need to be conscious of the, the need to be prepared there ensuring that our visitors are still getting a high level of service despite uh, the potential high demands on our time. Um, and also considering uh, your COVID plans, you should all, all have COVID plans in place already for um, your particular situations, but it may, those may need to change based on um, that movement through to free opening once everybody is um, at either 80 or 90% uh, capacity in terms of vaccinations. Um, also a reminder that we want people to encourage repeat visitation um, and we will see off the back of our awareness campaign that there will be first time visitors to the area. So where that's the case, we wanna obviously encourage them to come back more and more often. Um, and probably just a reminder too that um, if there is a need for businesses to, to re-look at their, their pricing as part of their offering as they reopen, um, it's just a reminder that often that means that people are expecting more for their money. So we, you might just need to um, further consider uh, if the expectation is higher, what you have to offer them if um, if you're going to be able to meet that expectation. Um, just a, a couple of things to bear in mind, um, you know, as we move forward, you know, what is hopefully in the next kind of six to eight weeks, a position where we can open up without any issues and um, we are back to something close to pre-COVID kind of numbers or, um, or, or visitation levels. Um, that being said, um, I'd like now to um, uh, invite Jan Hutton to um, to provide her introduction to ATDW. Um, so Jan, if you're okay, I'll, I'll leave it with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, thank you everyone for your time. Um, I am Jan Hutton, I'm the CEO of ATDW. Um, and we appreciate the opportunity to just come and give you an update. Um, I'm going to cover off a few things. I'm going to be super brief and leave you in the very capable hands of Nadia, who um, has introduced herself and is our platform manager. 
Um, I'm really going to just touch on our vision, I guess, just a, an overview of what we do and, and very importantly, why that matters. Listening to the context of everything that we've just been talking about, um, we realize that we're trading through very interesting times. Um, as you heard right in the beginning, um, there are the restrictions are, are changing. Um, and that means that very slowly, our very brave industry can start recovery. Um, recovery has to start with visibility. And, um, and I think that even though we have a captive market, um, as, as borders start to soften domestically, um, ultimately it's going to be very competitive. And I really want to urge you, um, if there's any takeaway from this presentation, to contact us if there is an opportunity for us to improve how your profile presents itself, um, so how your ATDW listing shows up. So with that in mind, this is our vision, to be the leading national digital tourism marketplace, sharing Australian experiences with the world. I was very lucky to be involved with leading the process of the Murray brand, um, which must be about a year or two ago, um, and, and the, the north of the Murray is an extension of that. It's a really beautiful part of the world that you live, and you have some incredible experiences um, that we know that local visitors and international visitors need to experience. So, and I actually, I also started the long road um, as, a, as a strategy while I was uh, Chief Marketing Officer at Destination New South Wales. And as a drive strategy, I know that there's a huge opportunity that it presents for your region. So again, um, if you could just understand that we are presenting um, the opportunity that ATDW offers your business and how important that digital exposure is right now, probably more than it ever has been. So yeah, so that's our vision, um, taking those experiences to the world. Nadia, if you'll change the slide for me, please. We, a lot of people say, um, and, and, and it always makes me smile when, you know, people slightly stumble over the letters ATDW, which stands for Australian Tourism Data Warehouse, and essentially data being the profiles, making sure that we map and aggregate every single tourism experience across Australia, and that we package it up as beautifully as possible and make sure that it gets distributed to as many potential visitors as possible. Um, and ultimately, the sole purpose of our business is to drive bookings to yours. Um, we are all about uh, generating leads for tourism businesses, and, and we focus on, on assisting you to get your, your listings as perfect as possible to make sure that you convert as many visitors as possible. So we are Australia, oh, Nadia, way too quick. Sorry, you're, you're, I was just about to read that, but I think that's an important statement is that we are Australia's largest lifestyle and tourism content platform and the primary source of destination promotion. So whether you are on the North of the Murray website or Tourism Australia's website or Destination New South Wales website or Qantas or what if, we've got 250 something, 260 something distributors domestically and internationally. We take your business profile and distribute that domestically and internationally. Um, and in a moment, I'll share what, why that is so beneficial. Next slide, thank you. So just why this matters, um, won't spend too much time here and we'll share this presentation with pleasure so you could read through it at leisure. But, but ultimately, you know, we believe that there has never been a more important time in tourism for us to make sure that we are maximizing our exposure as a business. So kind of just been talking through your great marketing activities, um, and, and that's really important. And, and to have an awareness campaign as borders start opening, the, the reason that's important is because every other region and state is about to compete for those visitors. And so awareness campaign means that we're working at the top of the funnel and we're making sure that our competitive messaging and all of our offerings are in front of our consumer. And that's really important. But what matters most is ultimately the high performance marketing that you're doing lands up generating your business a lead. That's what matters. We make sure that we do great marketing so that we can generate business for our tourism industry. That's what we that what that's what our focus is. So when I when you look at this slide, ultimately all I want you to really focus on um, is that our business is to make sure that you get the best online marketing exposure. Um, and that ultimately as a result of that, ATDW is essentially your pathway to the digital economy. Said differently, 
uh, just to keep it really easy, we are your pathway to your online audience, to your online potential visitor. Um, and that makes our platform really important for your business to make sure that your profile is kept up to date and that it is working hard for you. Um, we make sure that there is um, amazing world-class global functionality, and I can talk to a whole lot of things, but I'm sure Nadia will cover them off, so I won't, I won't uh, get into that. I'll leave that to her. But whatever that functionality is, it's all about generating you leads and bookings. And we've got 11 content categories um, that we um, capture product experiences across. So whether that be food and drink or events, attractions, accommodation, et cetera, we've got 11 categories and you need to make sure that wherever relevant, that your business is capitalized on, on every single one of those categories. Thanks, Nadia. Next slide, please. So this is just, I love this slide. I think it's incredibly proud. We did some really great um, um, analysis recently. We, we got together every single digital director and research director of all the states. Um, so, yes, we had the, the head of marketing for Victoria and the head of marketing for New South Wales, head of digital and the head of research for both those states who I work with every single week. Um, and, and we worked with all the other STOs as well. And this is the this is what I find quite remarkable. Now, I can't even read this, so I'm hoping you can. But ultimately, let me just open my own version because it's a little bit small. There we go. Ultimately. ATEW as a platform um, processes 55 million visits, I mean online visits, to, the, to different STO websites during the course of the year 2021. 55 million. So one of the worst years we've had, um, considering we've been trading through a pandemic for almost two years, which has just uh, been decimating for our industry. And uh, we continue to just hear really heartbreaking stories. But even though we were trading through one of the toughest years, we had 55 million people looking for holidays and they were looking at that through all of our STO websites. But the more important part that I'm very proud of is of those 55 million visits, three out of four people that came to an STO website, uh, so a website like Destination New South Wales or Visit Victoria, three out of four, so that's 75%, landed up viewing an ATDW product which means 75% of all people that go to an STO website or go to the, the North of the Murray website, 75% of them actually go right to an industry product. And that is incredibly efficient. That is an amazing opportunity for, for businesses to really, really capitalize on. But what I'm even more proud of is that out of those 75%, 30% of those people that actually looked at a product converted into a lead. Now, I, I could tell you that if we look at other statistics, and I won't bore you with this now, but if we looked at other statistics, whether they were online or offline, 30% conversion rate is close to unheard of. Um, so as an aggregate percentage across all the, the state tourism organization websites, including regional websites like North of the Murray, we get a 30% conversion. Um, and that, just in this particular instance, has converted into 12.3 million leads that were generated off ATDW that were enabled by this platform. And what's important for me, if nothing else, is that an outcome of this conversation is that you are able to capture a part of that, that your business is part of those 12.3 million leads. Um, in one of the worst years that tourism's ever seen, our platform was able to generate um, 450 million in tourism receipts um, in, in actual visitation. Um, and that's not a number that is anything normal uh, or anything close to what we believe would be normal trading value. But in 2021, I think that's a really exceptional number, considering all the restrictions and the very, very low consumer confidence that we've all had to deal with. Um, so. Yeah, I just as as a, I thought that was just interesting to give you some context um, on why ATDW leads are so valuable for your business. Now, if you won't go to the next slide, please, and then I think I'm done, and I'll hand over to you. Our purpose is to ultimately capture, package, and promote the competitive advantage, which means what is distinctive about your offering, what stands apart 
why a visitor should come and experience um, your business. Um, and ultimately, everything that we are committed to is driving the recovery and the growth of, of our sector. We work incredibly closely with Tourism Australia. We work closely with, with Austrade as well. Um, there's some amazing new functionality that we're going to be building into the platform as we are modernizing and making sure that we are ready to capture the future, future digital consumer. Um, and I hope that I've given you sufficient reason to, to really consider how we can assist you. Um, Nadia will no doubt touch on ways that you can contact us and engage our business um, so that we've made it easy for you to be able to update your profile um, and to keep it updated, make sure that it's seasonal, make sure your COVID safe plan is loaded, your, 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 your copy is, is, is uh, your description is, um, is up to date and seasonal and relevant, your images are captivating, you've loaded up video. If you've got any accessibility accreditations, you've loaded them, your sustainability credentials are there. Spend time on this one listing because as Nadia will touch on, we've now partnered with Google and that it's going to have an immense effect on the traffic to your business. So um, that's just a, a brief introduction from me. Um, I know that Nadia is going to take you through the rest. Um, I, I um, Just to say maybe just to end by saying that um, it was said right in the beginning, but we are here to serve our industry. We are therefore here to serve you. Um, and uh, we are incredibly proud of, of how businesses have managed to survive what has been an unbelievably tough period. If there's anything at all that we can do to assist, let us know. Um, and thank you for including us um, in your presentation. Nadia, I'll drop off and uh, if you'll continue. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jan. That was an incredible introduction, I think, to, to what ATW does and, and who we are and, and our role in the industry. And I guess to, um, you know, proceed on from that, um, this slide talks to a little bit, I guess, how our role does support the industry. So we do have currently 50,000 um, profiles in ATW. And, and a profile is a listing that, as Jan touched on, in, in one of our 11 categories. So anyone here that is a tourism operator on the call that may have an accommodation or an attraction or a tour, um, you would have at least one of those profiles, we would hope. Um, if you don't, definitely get in touch and, and we encourage you to do so. So, and I guess that's that's how we support. So as to the, the, you, our tourism operators, you give purpose to what we do and what we build. Um, you drive that through feedback that we receive. We've got um, like a survey in our platform and, and we also through these webinars and things that so any suggestions that we have, we take on board and that then drives and gives purpose to the technology that we build and is continually to evolve um, the, the functionality and the services that ATW offer. And ATW provides your business, I think, the best possible domestic and international visibility. So it's in the one place um, and yeah, through our distribution network, both with the STOs and other distributors, which I'll touch on later in this slide, um, it, it then is, is providing you with that visibility that you can get all in the one place. And I guess our purpose there is to showcase the entire breadth and depth of the, the entire industry. So not just the major players, but right down to the small businesses, um, you know, and, and every single experience, they all matter, they all matter. There's, there's different people that are visiting that are very interested in every experience that we offer. And so having them all available in ACW and then available for publication through your website, um, the state's website or any other local distributor website is, is really valuable to get consumer eyes onto that profile and onto your experience that you're offering. So I'll move through to the next slide. Okay, did I skip one? Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. So essentially, um, Jan touched a little bit on this, but why, you know, just a why you need to be on ATW if you're not. Um, you know, firstly, I'd say, why not? It's completely free of charge. So it takes a little bit of time, yes, to create a description and to upload some photos and, and you know, enter the details on the listing, but then it's completely free and it's free marketing for your business. So you're essentially just leveraging the marketing campaigns of your region, of your local council, of your state and of Tourism Australia. And the, the, the money and expenditure that they're putting into their marketing is essentially filtering down, as Jan showed in that funnel earlier, down to your business. So that's exactly why we say that you need to be on OTW. And you can just guess, think of us as your, you know, 24 seven, 365 days a year, digital shop front. So when you're not open, 
your ATW profile is still out there. It's still on websites, both in Australia and internationally, and it's being seen by people. So you're not having to do anything to it, and it's having people visit and see that. We've got a dedicated team both here at ATDW as well and also Destination New South Wales, who we work with closely um, and Visit Victoria and each of the states that are here to help and work with you to optimise your profile. Not just optimise it, every time you update your profile, it comes through our um, brilliant quality assurance reviewers who check that as well. And, and the main reason they're checking it is to not, I guess, reject the profile, things like that. So they're checking it to make sure that it is as beautifully presented as it can be so that it's optimized um you've got you know beautiful photos they're not going to crop or they're not blurry and and they know what profiles look like on distributed websites so they're reading your copy they're making sure your links work making sure your phone number is correct and details like that to make sure that your your profile is being promoted and, and displayed as best as possibly can just in case something's missed so the best part of, um, you know, why you need to be on here and Jen touched through the generation of um, leads and bookings. So I won't go further into that, but we've also got a strategy at ACW designed around content and what's relevant to consumers, their behavior, and that then modifies and, and drives out the, the content that we pull and choose as well. And I'll move further on because I'll touch on another point there is deals. Um, and also about increasing your own search rankings. So not just having SEO on your website working for you and potentially paid Google listings, but having your business and your experience show up on a number of different websites also increases your authority um, in search results. So I'll quickly touch on how you can update and optimize your profile. So if you if you have a profile, I hope that you do and you are updating it. But um, I think one of the keys that we say, and Jen touched on this before, is about seasonal updates. So making sure that you are coming in regularly, spending some time in your in your profile, updating your description or changing your photos. You might have had, um, you know, I guess come out and use social media and, and post a picture to Instagram that you love ask them for that if you can get access to use it those types of things or if you have taken some new photos yourself if it is seasonal and it's starting to get cooler weather or warmer weather change some of your description talk about open fireplaces in your accommodation or then talk about swimming and, and things like that that are what people are going to generally be looking for at that time of year and we find that then also you know I guess increases or changes the way you show up as well so you know the, the updates that you make are then refreshing your profile it's making it a bit different it's making it captivating so as we said touching on here the first point imagery is key making sure they're high quality photos you know that that they are captivating don't just show if you've got a coffee shop don't just show a picture of a of a cup um, you know, have someone there drinking it and, and, you know, actually have some food on the table, things like that to make sure that there's possibly people in your pictures, that it is really beautiful um, background, scenery, you know, showcasing the best of what your, your business or experience has to offer. Um, using SEO methodology within your description. So particularly probably the first sentence of your description, making sure you've got your business name there, your location, any really key highlighting or unique selling points for your business, um, making sure they're all within particularly the first sentence because that's what will show up on search results, that is what will get people's attention and then expanding out and making your description really well written. I think you're allowed up to 200 words to so use the most of those that you can um, where relevant. If you have video, put it in. It's far more emotive and informative um, than just images. And they are shown on a lot of the websites as well. Um, we've also got deals and offers that we offer in ACDW. So it's a new section that's been around about 12 months now. Um, that enables you to add up to three deals. And they're short, short deals that I think are around three months of duration that if you're offering a really valuable package and particularly as we do start to open up, that might be a way to, you know, encourage people to offer a package and, and you know, that then, in, you know, it's just something else. It creates excitement. It creates urgency that it's only available for a short period of time. And, and particularly it's also on some distributor websites, a way to get, I guess, double the visibility of your profile as well, because most of the um, SEO websites often have, say, their search pages as to what 
where they're showing, you know, what experience to see, what places to stay. Um, and some of them also have a completely separate section of their website that is dedicated just to deals and offers. So potentially then if, depending on where consumers are looking and, and like browsing those websites, that's a second way to get you double the exposure. Um, and it, you know, it's just a small, small sort of piece of effort to add a deal if you, if you obviously have one. Um, and then the last one there is really just complete as much information as possible. So making sure that you do go through, um, I know there's there's some, a fair amount of optional fields in HW listing and they may seem like that they, they don't show on a profile, but they are all used generally in, in determining who goes into which campaigns, things like that, how the states and your region will actually filter products. So if you're fulfilling as much as you can um, within the profile, it's very, very important. We'll quickly move through. I know we're probably over a bit of our time. Um, so again, just additional Jen touched on these, but um, this is part of optional fields um, within the profile. You can go and add an accreditation to say that you have your COVID safe certification. These are shown. Some of the STOs are displaying this in different ways. I know um, Queensland, which isn't relevant for you, but they do have like a good to go banner and they're really highlighting those products that have their COVID safe. Um, certification registered within their ACW profile. We've got booking links so you can define your preferred booking URL as to where you want to generate traffic back to to book your business and that can be what works best for you that's the lowest commission. If you've got that link there's a separate field within ACW to make sure you enter that as well and that'll be what the book now button shows on any distributor website in most cases. Deals and offers I touched on before. Accessibility is really important too. Um, it is a large section within an HW profile because it is such a it is a really important market um, that can often not be given sort of you know the, the exposure that it needs. But accessibility doesn't just cover people in wheelchairs, but it's you know I guess elderly, um, you know again women with prams, things like that, and and also it goes into our accessibility content goes into communication needs um, as well as allergies, hearing, vision. Um, so as much information that you can put in there as possible, you know, again, opens your business up to other markets. And there's um, some great apps that are using HW content, I think Accessible Australia, that people um, with access needs are using to find products. So yeah, definitely as much information you can put in there as well. Got some winery content through a large project we did with Wine Australia last year. Um, and also looking at doing some Indigenous business identification that we do on the administration side of things and, and sustainability credentials as well that we do behind the scenes. They, we, we do that part on your profile, um, yeah, on your behalf. In terms of the future and, and um, of, for ACW, so we've just this year, earlier this year, um, delivered a new three-year business strategy with our key pillars, key pillars being data, content and technology. And those three key pillars are really driving what we're um, doing in ACW, all of our strategy, all of our projects. Um, so the first one, which Jen mentioned on, has been our integration with Google My Business. So it's creating efficiencies for your business um, to have your ACW profile information come over to Google as well and update that. We're also looking at how to expand on the information that we currently send to possibly send our deals and offers that I mentioned earlier also to Google to show up on their offers pages. So there's a lot of um, a lot of scope there and, and, and further discussions with Google about how we can further work together in the future um, are really exciting for us. In the next couple of weeks, you'll see um, possibly myself come out on our next ATW video. Jan was on the last one, but um, the next one we're launching our performance dashboard, our insights dashboard. And that's, um, we've had some changes to how we collect analytics on our ATW profiles through our distribution partners. We're starting to share that back to you in a, in a lovely looking dashboard um, that has a lot more content information and insights for you than the previous one had. And further later in the year, we'll also be launching some translations. So getting ready for when the international borders open again, we're looking at how we can translate your profile into up to 10 languages to have available for any um, international websites, particularly the STOs um, for that there. So I'll flick through, we'll share this. Um, again, our strategic focus of our, um, of our digital strategy, 
business strategy uh, here and I'll flip through those again. We'll share these after because I know I have gone over time. Um, and lastly, as Jen mentioned right at the front, it is a new world that we're moving into. I think, you know, the new normal everyone speaks about. So um, now more than ever, you know, to exist online is to exist as a, you know, tourism business. So make sure you do get online, take advantage of this free tool that is offered um, and, and make the most of it. So I think that's kind of the end of our presentation. Um, we do have our Ask ATW channels open um both on our website there are there are options there that you can actually come on jump and ask a question you can also get in touch with one of our um key support people and industry experts and have like a 15 minute session as well so jump on our website atw.com and you'll find those tools there as well if you want to want to get in contact with us but yeah thanks for having us along today